Hi, this is Ralph, WFIVE, and we're on 20 meters now and getting ready to try digital contact. This first call CQ, see if we get anyone to come back to us. I know we did because I'm putting the voice track in after the fact. <laughs> this is using PSK31, which is one of the uh, uh, several digital modes used on amateur radio now. Okay, I've completed the CQ. Oh, we're getting a getting a reply already. Oh my goodness. N eight SPM. Okay. I was doing pretty good until uh well no, actually I, I copied him hundred percent. He said how copy and then K, which means uh uh go ahead and transmit, so and the uh, random letters you see in the uh, yellow right now has been caused by noise because I'm, I'm typing his, my reply. I should have a macro program for this, and I'm in the process of doing that, that. This is only my third, no, maybe my fourth PSK31 contact, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, I gave him a signal report. I told him where I was. QTH means location. And uh, now you see the red letters, that's me transmitting. PSK31 is uh, not real feist. I think it's about 31 characters a second or something like that. But all this is going by shortwave radio, amateur radio, and he's in Missouri, by the way. And I'm in western North Carolina, so several hundred miles. Okay, I'm waiting on him to type and reply. There he goes. You can see it over that on the far right, and now it's back on the uh, uh, left. That's a, ma a macro that he has doing that. Five nine nine is the best signal report you can get. He's located in Cadet, Missouri. His name's John. Uh, cadets in Washington County. The weather is sunny and 43 degrees. Okay. QSL, if you want to get a card confirming you, uh, he's telling you that he uses LOTW, which is Log Logbook of the World, sponsored by the American Radio Relay League. Okay, I I messed up my call there, but I saw it and corrected at the end of uh, this short transmission. <clears throat> Don't want to get uh, a foul of the FCC, so we try to keep the uh, correct call uh, procedures in place. And I'm telling them a little bit more about me about where I'm located at least. This contact's taking place on Christmas Day. Okay, I told him go ahead and transmit. No, I, yeah, I told him go ahead and transmit, but first I have to transmit. So the red in the yellow part of the software, this is uh, FL Digi. <clears throat> open source software that lets you uh, connect to your transceiver, your ham transceiver, and run many different types of digital modes, like radio teletype and FSK31 and all sorts of other ones that I'm just now getting around to trying. Okay, that completed, and now I'm waiting on his reply. It, uh, you have to be a little patient with this because sometimes it takes folks to all the time. Okay, he's, he's replying now. This looks like another macro. Yezu is one of the Japanese transceivers. Good brand. I had one in 1970 when I first got back from Vietnam and liked it a lot. 
rent it for many years. Although now I have the ICOM 7200, which you saw in the intro to this video. I like it a lot, too. Technology's come a long way in 40 years. The software is Ham Radio Deluxe, which is a for pay software. That's that's why I use uh, FL Digi. Okay, he's telling me the type of computer he's running. Running Windows 8. I'm not a great fan of Windows 8, but I run Windows 7. I don't think 8 was an improvement. In fact, it was a None improvement, in my opinion. BTU means back to you. So I should have started typing already. In fact, I have. You notice down the blue, I already have a message ready to go. And I'm not capturing the entire screen, so you don't see every, everything there. Okay, there we go. We're now transmitting the message. This was a pretty long message. I think he had maybe a little trouble con reading all of it. I think maybe he had a little trouble reading all of it, as we'll see here shortly. And I'm telling him now, you can watch it as it types out uh, about my rig and my antenna, which, by the way, is made in Missouri by N-U-Z-R-O, that, the, Bruce, that's his call, the guy that makes the antennas. I highly recommend them. It's, it's just a long wire antenna, but it covers uh, all the major ham bands from 160 to uh, 6 meters. Well, it covers all the ham bands from 160 to 6 meters and does a really good job. Us hams care very much about things like that. 